a free kick this for Chelsea just outside the edge of the area. It is a really good position. Enzo steps up. Oh, it's brilliant. Wow, this is a statement win from Chelsea. Absolutely brilliant from them. Chelsea are one of the worst teams in the country at the moment. And today's match doesn't get any easier. They're off to Villa Park to take on Aston Villa. Chelsea somehow managed to finesse themselves a replay. But tonight could be Maurizio Pochettino's last game. But he's not the one to blame. This man is. Aston Villa, well, they battered Sheffield United at the weekend, but lost their first game at Villa Park the weekend before. Can Chelsea do a miracle and actually win tonight? So if you are enjoying the adventure, smash that like, hit that big red subscribe button, and it's time to get off to Villa Park to see Chelsea mutilated by Aston Villa. We're here in chicken.com to start the adventure yeah. tonight. Look at the state of that. Nuggets and fries, right? And a drink, only a fiver. Get yourself down here to chicken.com. We're gonna give one of the nuggets a go. Here we go. Very, very good. Very good. Just having some chats in here with a couple of fans about the match tonight, and I've said my score prediction. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Aston Villa 5, Chelsea 0. The Blues are going to get slapped by the villains, and it's going to be Mauricio Pochettino's last game as Chelsea boss. But it's not his fault. For me, it is Todd Bowley's fault. Poor signings, poor management of the club and of the team. Apparently, he goes into the dressing room after games. That's not the way an owner should be. You only go in there to celebrate trophy wins like Caladoon does for City. But I'm sure the atmosphere is going to be good. I've no idea how Chelsea even finessed their way here by getting a nil-nil draw. That was on the same night that we played Tottenham. And obviously I was driving back to Birmingham. So a lot of Villa fans were on the train having a right good catch up with them. And they said, how on earth we didn't win that game? I just had no idea. So hopefully they get the job done tonight because, well, not hopefully. I'm kind of a neutral. I want to see a good game. I don't want to see Chelsea just go down even more than they are doing already. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a good game. And hopefully we're going to see some goals. It's time to finish off chicken and get to the stadium. Let's go. I made it in just in time. These Villa boys know how to throw a party. Feels like back in Jeddah. The teams are out to the fireworks of Aston Villa Park. Look at this, this is brilliant. That was banging. Huge game for both these teams tonight. I'm not sure what's going to happen, it's going to be crazy. Oh, the music is flaring. I'm really looking forward to this one. It's going to be one hell of a game. I love coming to Villa Park. It's such a special ground. I mean, the atmosphere Number is going six. to be so, so good Jump as well. It's going to be a great game. Which I will credit Chelsea. What a brilliant away support. Considering there was only a week and a half turnaround, normal away section, and the top of the, that one there. That one's the Trinity. That, I was going to call that one the Trinity. But yeah, brilliant support. I'm sure they'll be loud and proud, but this is going to be a great game. I'm in the whole game. It's going to be a great atmosphere. It's Aston Villa versus Chelsea. Only one team will go to the fifth round. That's right now. Whole end. Just something about it, isn't there? It's brilliant. Here we go then. Aston Villa get us underway. What a match it's going to be. The chance for Villa. Chance! Oh, it's a really good opportunity. Ball came into the box and Villa has started on this game well, but Chelsea. I just want to say how important Boubacar Kamara is. Now, I knew about Kamara because I'm an avid Marseille watcher. And he was so, so good at Marseille. I really wanted him to sign for Setta, but he signed for Villa. What a sign he's made. Listen to this atmosphere. It's great. Cross comes in. Oh, it's a free header on the back stick. I think I dribbled then, I'm eating my chicken and it's still going in. There's so many pieces, I'm enjoying it. But very, very likely starts this game. Aston Villa looks so, so good in Chelsea. Just looks so vulnerable in that wide position. But when Cole Palmer attacks, he's scared. Wow, after seeing a great goal from Conor Gallagher. What a placement it was into the top corner. Good work for Chelsea down the left-hand side. Pulled back to the annoyance of the Villa fans. Good finish from Conor Gallagher. And about 8,000 Chelsea fans have gone mad. What a goal. It's interesting to see how Villa now are going to respond, but it's been a really even game. Villa were not the better team, but they just got caught apart. It was Bubakar Kamara out of everybody. The lad that I was going on about before gave the ball away in midfield, and Chelsea kind of hit the soccer punch on the left-hand side. Great finish from Colin Gallagher, to be fair. That's what he is capable of in an average Chelsea team. They've taken the lead. Could they do it? It's a nice little flick. Goal bound. Oh, I thought Bailey was going to get the second there. Chelsea haven't dealt with it. But it's great. The goalkeeper, good chance for Aston Villa. That. That's what they needed a response. I know it didn't generate a goal, but it got the whole end on their feet. Well, we're already on our feet, but it's a good chance for Aston Villa, and that's where they've been dangerous down that left hand side. Uh, I think I'm not sure who's that. I think it's Kinsu or someone like that that's at the right back for Chelsea. It's not showing signs of confidence. Corner for Villa. Oh, it's to the edge of the box, and it's been intercepted. Chelsea are ready. Chelsea are ready. It's two on one here. Jackson just couldn't get his 
feet round the ball. And it's 2 0 and it's deserved. But you know what? Aston Villa just can't play tonight. They just can't play any sort of football without Chelsea intercepting it. And it's a double run down the right hand side, cross from Gut Gutso or whatever his name is. And it's a good header from Jackson, firm into the ground and into the corner. And these 8,000 Chelsea fans just can't believe what they're seeing and neither can the whole end. But two critics for both teams. Number one, Aston Villa are trying to play total football and it's not working. They're just trying to play too like Pep Guardiola style of play. That's not working. Chelsea look good, but when they get into the final third, Jackson's there doing six step overs when he's got time to run in, get across in, Cole Palmer's doing. It's just a bit pointless, it's just a bit too much to sort them out. There's goals in this game. We're in here, Chelsea. Manawecki on the right. No one coming to him. Oh, and he's put it wide. That's a really good chance. Villa just can't get a grip of the game at the moment. Too much total football and it's not really working. They need to go back to playing the Villa way in which every team lost here at Villa Park. But they just look a little bit shook up from the early goal. We're in again. Good so. Pulls it back. It's a really good chance. And finally, Villa can break. John McGinn. Plays it back. He's trying to play too much total football. And they're just giving it away. Again, this is Aston Villa's problem. Thomas missed it and it rolls through to Martinez. So much frustration because Villa just trying to play too much and Chelsea are punishing them. Frustrations here. Flipping hate. They're not happy, Villa fans. Very contrast in the away sections. They are loving it. If he needs to play for his skin and his job, they're doing the job for him, aren't they? Ball. Aston Villa, best ball of the game since the goal. But Cash just going round in circles. It's going to be a goal kick, I think. Chelsea win again. Jackson. To the bar line, runs out of the play, but too much room being given to Chelsea, especially on that left hand side. Matt Cash just isn't high today. But I, in particular, know what Aston Villa are capable of. I'm sure the Villa fans here will as well. And the fact that we got absolutely dominated as City when we were here at Villa Park. And today they just can't string two passes together. Every time Chelsea are just walking onto it saying, Thanks very much, we'll have that, we'll go for another attack. And they have so many dangerous attacks, Chelsea, especially down by Cash side, they just can't get hold of the ball. Villa need a goal, they've got 10 minutes to get it before half time to really give them a shot. It's an interesting corner. Chelsea have managed to deal with it. Kins, McGinn, straight to the goalkeeper. Any corner, and that probably would have been a goal, but he's got some height on it, and that's might be Aston Villa's last chance. Well, they have a corner here. It came from a Chelsea mistake. Not really for a fair and few chances for Aston Villa since the second goal. It's kind of been rocked, as has the stands, and as per the players on the pitch, has the best chance so far for Villa since the second goal. But they've got a corner here just for half time. Can they make something of it? Corner for Villa. Headed on. Not very far, and the shot is miles wide, and that should bring an end to the first half. And there we go, a couple of boos from the whole end, but it has not been good viewing for a Aston Villa fan. But if you are up there, or over there, or a Chelsea fan, this is perfect. Perfect FA Cup football for you guys. That was a little bit crazy, time to get into some, some analysis. Half time then at Villa Park and it is Aston Villa nil, Chelsea 2. Terrible viewing for Aston Villa and in the whole set. There is so much frustration on and off the pitch, lots of people complaining. Lots of swearing, they just can't hack it. And I tell you what, they've just not been able to play football correctly, and they've just not been able to pass it round freely like Aston Villa normally do, especially here at Villa Park. Chelsea haven't lost here in the Cup in 22 years at Villa Park in a Cup tournament, and it doesn't look like that's going to show up today. And it's going to keep going with a brilliant, brilliant first half from them. Goals from Conor Gallagher and Nicholas Jackson both shaken superbly, and they've had chances to maybe go 3, 4, even 5 up. I said 5 nil. just a heads up. Chelsea in that first half, they were good, but Villa were so, so bad. It is proven that Villa are a great team here in Villa Park. I do expect them to just have them, have a go at them, get at Chelsea in that second half. It's going to be difficult for the Blues to hang on, and if Villa get the next goal, then this is game on in front of the hole as well. But if Chelsea get the next goal, it will be all more over. It's going to be a good second half, good game so far. Love this, so they've got to kick the ball into that, and wherever they kick it, they win a prize. This is great. Good luck, lad. Oh, he's not even going to make the dish. Has it got legs? It, it hasn't got any legs. No, oh dear me. I'm it's loving this half time entertainment. Unlucky, bro. You guys going for it. That's better. Oh, we need to slip that oh, that might good. make it. That this just might make it. Oh, it's gone on. It's gone on. What's he won? What's he won? You just won yourself a signed Villa shirt! Good for you. Half-time entertainment was class. I'm feeling the cold now. It is so cold. Let's get to a good second half. Get me off my feet. Get me warm. Let's have a good one. Hopefully Aston Villa can get themselves in it. Make it a real good contest. But if Chelsea go on and win this, they deserve it. Aston Villa for the second half. Villa are going to need a goal. And the next goal is going to be all important, to be honest. 
think a lot of soft fouls are being caused when Villa lose the ball. They panic and Uwe Kakamara has not had a good game, to be honest, when I was raving on about him at the start. A free kick this for Chelsea, just outside the edge of the area. It is a really good position. And if they score this, it'd be game. Enzo steps up. Oh, it's brilliant. Wow. That is absolutely brilliant from the Argentinian. Absolute carnage in the away end. That, that's just sublime. That sums up Chelsea tonight, and they have been so good. And wow, what a goal. Well, until I die, rings round, and a lot of fans are leaving. It's 3-0 to Chelsea. Those fans are loving it. Aston Villa need a goal and as soon as possible. Well, that was brilliant. It was in a perfect position and uh, it was just absolutely phenomenal. What a free kick that was from Enzo Fernandez. And maybe that's taken the game away from Aston Villa and Chelsea have won it. And do you know what? If it is the winning goal, fitting because it's a beauty. Well, maybe I should retract the 5-0 Villa prediction. Probably that's naive and go 5-0 to Chelsea because they've been good. Villa need to score as soon as possible. And it just sums up their game tonight. A little bit too far. Chelsea organised. And take it back. Get for Villa. It's got to be a goal. In it comes. It's looped on. And it will be a goal kick. Not good enough from Villa, but good defending from Chelsea. Man to man. Good coverage. Well, they're playing for him right now. Villa Park is a difficult place to go. And look at that scoreline. 3 0 to Chelsea. Could be worse here. Madaweke. Just doing loads of step overs. Goes for it. It's far away. It's poor effort. Well, as you can hear, Chelsea are taking the mick. This is a statement win from Chelsea. Absolutely brilliant from them. And Aston Villa have just been stunned into silence. Well, there's still 20 minutes left, and you feel like Aston Villa could get back into this game. But every time Douglas Ruiz and Bubakar Kamara have the ball, they just give it away. And it's just, they're going nowhere. Aston Villa just give the ball back to Chelsea, who give it back to Aston Villa, who give it back to Chelsea. It's literally a game of possession loss at the moment, and Chelsea have sucker punched them three times from, well, that free kick was just marvellous, wasn't it? They have come close, and that's just got the whole end, a bit of belief. Put it down the right-hand side, cross came in, and you've brought John McGinn, who's just got to run onto it and latch it into the back of the net. Great block from whoever bought it from Chelsea. Don't get the ball to Yorby Tielemans, because he's giving the ball away, left, right and centre. Anyway, it's a corner following that chance. Kins. Play it back now. Oh, Diaby made a good run. He's waiting for support. Matty Cash coming on the overlap. Decoys in, but Chelsea have got so many bodies back now. Oh, he's going to have to do it himself. And he may. Sweet Chelsea bodies around him. Just no support. But if Villa get a goal now, anything can happen, but it needs to be now because they've only got about 16 minutes to score three. Chance. Diaby! Scuffed well and truly wide. Big chance. Better from Villa, they're getting the chances of putting some passes together. Tielemans gone off the pitch, that's why Kamara and Louise look like they're actually going to put some balls together and get the distribution wide to the wide players, such as the army. Jacob Ramsey's come on, he's been a bit breath of fresh air. Can Villa get a goal? With a ball in the box, Cash is cross. Oh, the Ravens head is just over, that's a massive chance. Villa knocking on the door and have lost control of this game, Chelsea. And Villa have now got full control of it. And if they break through this door with 14 minutes to go, Chance after chance after chance at the moment. And if they break through, who knows what could happen. Long to go, but everything can change. There's a Chelsea player down here. Villa are saying play on. It's not a head injury. So letter by law is you can carry on. It's a big stoppage, but nothing bigger than the amount of Villa fans leaving. Crazy. Well, Chelsea are killing this game off now in brilliant fashion. Since the substitution, it's all the momentum. It's with Aston Villa, and now they've just relax the game, let themselves control it. It's been good to watch from Chelsea to be fair tonight and they deserve this. Villa have scored, great goal from the edge of the box from the RB. Chelsea's clean sheet have gone. And Villa, well, there's four minutes of added time. This will be the craziest of comebacks. Three and a half minutes to go. Villa have finally scored. They probably deserve the goal. Um, they're not going to win this. <laughs> good goal from the RB though. A massive roar as the RB got through and it's swept in. Good bit of a for Thiago Silva. There is still just about time. Well, there we go. That's it. A great, great win for Chelsea. An awful night at the office for Aston Villa. What a night for the Blues. Look this. Ollie Watkins straight over to the Aston Villa fans to uh, appreciate them to the whole end. What a good enough tonight from Aston Villa. But that's, that's, that's good morals that from uh, Ollie Watkins. Boy, am I surprised. But what an incredible result that is from Chelsea. Aston Villa, I thought we're going to absolutely destroy Chelsea tonight. That would be Poch gone. More problems. But I tell you what, they played for their manager tonight. And Aston Villa, yes, they were not good enough. And Chelsea were great. 
but have to give full credit to the Blues tonight. And what a goal it was from Enzo Fernandez to finish it off at 3-0. Maybe the four minutes of added time should have been a bit longer with DRV scoring just in that added time, a little bit longer. And Aston Villa may have had a chance. They had another good one just after the DRV goal. That would have gone in. It would have made it all interesting. The Moreno header was the big moment, but unfortunately it wasn't their night and it was Chelsea's night. They were brilliantly, brilliantly organised in that middle of the park. Douglas Luiz, Tielemans and Kamara got absolutely outplayed by Enzo Fernandez and Conor Gallagher in particular. Those two were brilliant. I thought Cole Palmer was fantastic on the left-hand side uh, and the right-hand side. He kind of appeared on both. A brilliant result for Chelsea. What is it going to mean for those fans and the club? It's a huge result. A huge, huge result for Chelsea. I know they're 11th in the league, but they can take that result. They're in the next round of the cup. If they can go on two cup runs this season, that might be a success from the issues that they've had, especially at the start. But what a result for those 8,000 Chelsea fans travelling. Enjoy every minute of it because, wow, they were good. What a night it is for those Chelsea fans and players. They absolutely deserve this win. What a win it was. Wow. Well, that's going to bring an end to the video. So smash that like, hit that big red subscribe button to see some more videos. I thought, you know what? I'd come to the game tonight. I did a bit of a poll on the Instagram story. What a result that was for Chelsea. Brilliant from them. I slagged them off at the start. I am very, very sorry. You played great and you deserved that, that win. I was going to say three points, but it's not the league. You deserved that trip into the next round of the FA Cup. Good luck on, well, good luck for the League Cup final. That had given confidence going in to the game at Wembley against Liverpool. We'll have to see what that does for Chelsea. But Villa, two home defeats in two. What's that going to mean for them? And they're playing Man United on Saturday, Sunday, so that's a winnable game. But maybe the confidence is dropping in this Villa team. We'll have to see. Make sure to like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out from Villa Park. I'm literally the last one here as well.